Before the Green Revolution, uh, introducing the uh, hybrid and the, uh, the chemical uh, farming. So, and I spent most of my uh, childhood in the rice field. And the things that I liked the most was that so much um, uh, life there in the rice field. I remember I was feeling then uh, I was so proud being uh, born in a place that where. I, I don't need money, you know, everything is there provided for me. I was so proud of it and I can just go to the rice field and there's rice and there's fern for, for vegetable and there's eel and there's fish. So I remember, wow, this is uh, the way it should be. But then after, after I uh, went to school and so not spending as much time anymore with my uh, family in the village, then I come back, must have been um, like maybe 10 years after and I realized it was very different then and the, the farming technique and everything it was the, the rice field was very very clear there was there was not no trees and there was no uh, uh, pest control plants which what we used to have back then so uh, I get a little confused and ask my dad what's happening and then so my dad told me that, you know, we can buy these uh, things now called fertilizer and work instant. It's make our job much easier. Um, but, but also, I realized there was not any more of this uh, ecosystem in the rice field. And I felt really uh, sad, but also I, I have this feeling, I don't think that is right. And, uh, but for a long time I was just on my own and trying to find similar people with the similar idea that how can we, um, how can we farm like the way we used to be and with all the uh, um, existing uh, ecosystem and how can we farm that you know, harmony to, with, with, with them and with nature. And I tried in my rice field the system of rice intensification and then uh, I was amazed with uh, with the result and um, it was uh, at the beginning when I heard about the system of rice intensification I thought it was no it cannot be it's, it sound too good to be true it cannot be right but uh, the more I heard about it through internet and also from newspaper and then I thought I, I just tried and then so my first um, harvest was about 40% increase and plus that I spent so much less money in seeds and so I thought wow this is, uh, this is the way we should do it and, and so I have this then feeling that farmers should, should know about this. Kami mengikuti uh, 
sistem SRI uh, sekeluarga sudah bisa menanam juga uh, sangat membantu uh, di samping saya dapat meningkatkan hasil uh, juga saya sudah pernah mendapat order untuk menanam sampai ke ke luar wilayah Ubud okay. sampai ke Belah Batu sudah pernah nanam konvensional itu hasilnya ya katakan di bawah setelah uh, mengenal SRI ada peningkatan hmm. uh, uh, peningkatan yang lebih sekitar seper pelatihan-pelatihan terhadap orang-orang uh, yang belum mengenal SRI. Kalau untuk penyebaran SRI ini, saya rasa hitungan yang perlu adalah uh, pelatihan itu. Hmm. Jadi kalau memang sering ada pelatihan dan uh, ada pasti ada yang saya ikutkan di sana, tapi lebih cepat akan penyebaran SRI. Pesan, pesan saya kepada para petani lain eh, di petani lainnya adalah mari kita mengikuti sistem SRI di mana sistem SRI ini adalah di samping meningkatkan hasil juga hemat akan air dan demikian juga mari kita uh, mengingat ke SRI demikian juga ke uh, apa namanya uh, kasih ke organik lah itu supaya kita menjadi sehat tanpa bebas dari kimia